How you doing? Welcome back to another R.A.I. Caregiver Moment. My name is Kion Church. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm just a big hearted caregiver. For those of you who do know me, you probably call me Mr. KC. It's a lot easier. I happen to be with a very special young lady who's been given care for, I guess, maybe longer than I've even been on the planet. She's rose to the top of her nursing career. She has an amazing big heart story. I'm not going to steal the joy from her uh, because her story is so powerful. I'm going to let her tell you a bit about it. Let me introduce you right now to a good friend and family member of mine, Miss Evelyn. How you doing today? Fine. How are you, Kion? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Introduce yourself to the people. Just tell them a brief little snippet, and then we'll go ahead and get into your big-hearted caregiver story. Well, my name's Evelyn Driggins, and I'm 70 years old. I've been nursing, or had been nursing, for 33 years, but my career was was very good and I enjoyed nursing and taking care of people for 33 years. I know, 33 years, that's a long time. T t just tell us a little bit about your backstory. Like, how'd you get started in nursing? Well, I got started in nursing back in 1976. Uh, I got a job as a nurse's assistant and I liked it very much. And, and because I like taking care of people so much, I decided from encouragement from a doctor to go to nursing school. And I went to nursing school and I did very well. It was hard, but I hung in there and I got my grades and I became a licensed practical nurse and I got a job and I loved it very much, taking care of people, taking care of their needs, making sure they got their medicine and had their wounds taken care of and several other duties that I had to take care of. And uh, later on during my career, I went back to school to get my registered nursing license. And that was a challenge, but I overcome that. Wow. And uh, I had scholarships and didn't have to pay for it, which made it even better. Throughout and your whole nursing career? Throughout my whole nursing career. I was one of the lucky ones that was able to get employers to pay for my schooling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that made it even better. What, what was When you started out on your nursing journey, I'm going to say, what were, you, uh, what were you looking to accomplish specifically? Well, I was looking to accomplish that peace of mind that taking care of people gave me. It was the feeling of accomplishment that I received from taking care of people, wow. knowing that I had parents that one day would need for someone to take care of them, gaining the knowledge to know how to do that also. And so I learned that through the years, how to care for people, how to be compassionate and care for others, because I knew one day I would have to do that also for my own parents and maybe someone in my family. Right. It all came natural to me. It was like, it was it was in my cards for me to be able to take care of people. And all the challenges that came, came up in my career, I was, over to, I was able to overcome them without any problems. Challenges with other staff members who saw me as a leader and um, they uh, would sometimes cause problems in the work area, because mm. I was a leader, they would try to cause problems and make the work the work area harder. But I was able able to, with my leadership skills, overcome those problems. Wow! Like, what kind of internal fears did you have early in my career? I was afraid that I couldn't do it. My self esteem was low, and I was thinking that I wasn't smart enough to do this. Wow! But one of the doctors constantly told me that I was intelligent and that I was able to do it and he pushed me to go to school and because of his encouragement it helped me to build my self-esteem and he encouraged me so much to the point where I started telling myself that I could do it and that made me go to school mm. Mm. with the help of the scholarship that I received to go okay okay what wall did you hit um during your current opportunity that you said, uh, this, this new nursing journey is for me? Well, there were several opportunities that faced me that made me feel like this was the thing for me. 
the happiness that I felt when I took care of a person and they got better and went home. The joy that I felt when I seen a lady bring a baby into the world and I helped do that. Yeah, that was that a beautiful was, thing. That was a beautiful thing. Was and I up. was and I was so overjoyed when I seen that happen so many times. And when I would be in the emergency room and seeing a person come in basically dead and we were able to bring them back to life wow. and they got up and walked out of that hospital after huh. a week or two and I helped bring them back to life. That was more than I could ever imagine. The, it was things like that that made you really love what you did. After you saw that, you know, we could bring this life into the world and I can actually help people and 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 and, and that sort of stuff. What what was your plan? What what plan did you create to say this is what I'm gonna do? Well, I didn't actually create a plan. I just knew that I was in the right career, and I knew that's where I was going to stay until somebody finally said it's time for you to retire because I had no idea of when that was going to be. I had I was telling myself that I was never going to stop working because I loved it that much. Wow, wow, wow. You deserve the Big Hearted Caregiver Award. My heart was in it, my mind was in it, and I, and I knew that this is where I needed to be. This was my calling, to take care of people, help them get well, to bring life into the world and to bring life back. I was already sold on the fact that this is where I was supposed to be and this is what I was supposed to do in my life. Hmm. I heard that. As an end result, what did you achieve? I achieved happiness and gratefulness and blessings for doing the things that I did for people. My life has been really blessed and good for all that I've done for people. What has evolved on inside of you to bring us to the true Evie that you are today? The willingness to want to be. It was the, that I really wanted to be this. And so I just kept pushing myself and pushing myself until I finally became what I was supposed to be. I never gave up. I knew it within myself, this is what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to be. This is what others wanted me to be, and it, it just was no fail, and I never gave up. God, I had a right spirit and determination, obviously. Mm -hmm. And taking care of people is important, so I, I could see you coming in every day and, 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 and just getting the thrill of excitement of being able to help people. Yes. I did many doubles. I never know when to go home. <laughs> I did double after double after. Sometimes I did triples, and that was against the law. But wow. I did triple. During the times when we had snows, uh -huh. I stayed for three shifts, not wow. two. Wow. I slept at places because wow. they did not have help, and I refused to go home and leave people without help. Wow. That says a lot to your character. Yes. That says a lot to your character. While we talking about that, tell the people what you feel is the importance of being a caregiver why why do you feel it's important to even be a caregiver well we need to know that we need to take care of each other we're put here on this earth to take care of each other a lot of people don't realize that but god didn't just put adam here he put eve here <laughs> to take care of adam that's right that's and right. that in that sense we need to take care of each, each other, other. And that's that? what it's all about, taking care of each other. And when you look at nursing, that's what it's about, taking care of each other. And so that's the way I look at nursing, where if nurses are put here to take care of each other, to take care of people, that they might get better and have a better life. I'm 70 years old, and if I hadn't got injured on a job, I would still be working as a nurse. Today. Today. Wow. <laughs> I would still be working. My family would probably have to make me stay home. <laughs> because that's how much I love taking care of people. Love taking care of people. That is awesome. That is truly awesome. Well, doesn't get any better than that. I don't know uh, too many people that had your kind of uh, contribution, even had this much time to even take care of other people. Like you, 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 you're truly a blessing to everybody who you done laid your hands on, and 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 
we here today. We just want to give you the big Heart of Caregiver Award for everything that you've done thus far. How Thank you feel you. about that? I feel real good about that. That's great. That's awesome. That's awesome. Listen, we giving these big hearted caregivers uh, awards out. They're not for everybody. They're only for the big hearted caregivers. So if you want to nominate somebody that you know that has done an over exemplary, um, exemplatory, I don't know how to say it. If they've gone above and beyond and, uh, and you know they're an excellent caregiver and you just want to say something to them, this is the best way to shout them out. This is the best way to give them some recognition. Bring them on the show. Um, we'll love to present them with a big hearted caregiver award. That might be you. Excuse me. Maybe someone else you know. If you'd like to nominate anybody, call me. My name is Mr. KC, 302-689-3240, 302-689-3240. We'd love to see who the next big hearted caregiver uh, recipient is. Call me, 302-689-3240, Mr. KC, Big Hearted Caregiver Summit. Thank you. And um, Ms. Evelyn, we, 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 it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank and you. Um, you've done a great job. Thank you very much. You've done a much. great job. Great job. Thank you very much. Thank you.